Alrighty, I have 10 minutes on my phone. So, I was nice enough to make a nice one hour and like, I don't know, 13 minute video here, 14, 15 minute video, 16, 17 minute video here. And I'll upload as quick as I can. Hopefully they don't take away the core, that way you can guys, you guys will enjoy the show later on, obviously. So once I sign the stars, I, I'll, a limo driver will, 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 will what? will pick us up and take us to the Boston Pizza restaurant in uh, Vancouver. Everyone has a nice meal to eat. I'll order pitches for everyone. I'll have two people share one pitch, that way they don't get drunk. Guys, I'm not gonna order a bunch of pitches and have you guys get drunk, get get, get tipsy, no. Like, you guys should drink a beer, but like you only drink like a, a glass and a half. It's like, it's like you, you, I'll, I'll give you guys beer appetizers. So if there's like 18 people, 20 people, order 10 pitchers, and I'll, me and VJ share one pitcher, and all the actors share. Okay, two people share one pitcher. That's how it works. And when you go to my con, you, you, you guys now, once you, you, can, you, can, you guys now drink your liquor, get drunk. Make sure you buy liquor. That way they get drunk. Beer, do not buy beer. It's beer you have to drink like eight, nine of those to get drunk. No, get liquor. Once you have six, seven, eight shots, you're now like, that'll, that'll buzz you up. I'm sorry. Hence why the seven people are going to be hard at work. Going to the store and buying a bunch of liquor. Look, I want you going to the store and get a good like 25, 30 bottles of liquor every day. You're, that's gonna cost me a couple thousand dollars, like two thousand, twenty one hundred dollars, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars is a lot of money. Make sure go to the store and get like 30 bottles of liquor like every day, five days a week for like seven months straight. They're gonna be doing that. You know, say for the actors, the cinematographers, there's visual effects, and the rest of the crew is normally flown in for the, for the signings. It's gonna be harder or busy. It has one well, boost in the economy for that liquor store for the SAQ. SAQ is gonna make a lot of money off my takeouts. Buying all that liquor, yeah. Good for the economy, obviously. And the Boston Pizza will be making a lot of money too. Because I'm gonna be doing takeouts five days a week there for like seven months straight. And that's why I'm gonna have my seven team call Boston Pizza. Okay, I I okay, this is a film entertainment company. We're gonna be we're gonna be doing takeouts five days a week for like for months. Tell boss, he's okay. I want I want you booking VIP for us every five days a week. Yeah, we can do that for you. And they book a VIP for us. In the summertime, we eat inside. In the summertime, we eat inside. And I'm saying, book book a VIP area for 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 for, for, for eighteen twenty people. You have to do that. Some there. I want you book a big table where that sits a good twenty people. VIP, you look something crazy, man. You look, I'm gonna be doing takeouts. Like six, six months straight, five, six, seven months straight, something crazy. Signing all the 1,500 people. The act was part up in my condo. 300 million dollar condo. So we're going to have a good time. We have a good time at the uh, the restaurant. Let's see. And after the party, after that, they part up my 300 million condo. You guys see the actors, hey, I'm at a party right now. They're all drunk. Hey, I'm at a party right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm at a party right now. You know what I'm saying? They're all they're all like drunk. The actors are all drunk. I'm at a party right now. Hey, I'm at a party right now. I'm at a fucking party. You know what I'm saying? They're all fucking drunk. You know what I'm saying? The actors are all drunk. Yeah, man. The actors are all drunk. Yeah, man. They're all drunk. Yeah, it's like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know the fourth year happens, production starts, obviously. Everyone is all fucking nervous. The crewmen are nervous. It's not just the actors. The crewmen are going to be nervous, too. You're going to see the cinematographers. They have, they're nervous. I hope I give. I hope I have good shots for the movie, yeah. You're going to see the, um, the what? The, 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 the lighting guys, the, the sound guys are all going to be nervous, man. It's a nice movie. They don't want to fuck it up, obviously. You're going to see Peter fucking nervous. Because he took his nose, Grandma Toro... He went over his notes. We did the concerts together. We watched those movies. He's prepped. He has his notes with him. He has Grimoire Toro helping him. The first reading racket team, second reading racket team went over his notes. They went over the whole script. They, they're not prepped to help him. And as Peter has a lot of help, everyone's prepped. You'll get a good movie. Production starts. Everyone gets their first check, obviously. And then vol the, 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 volume one begins production. Production of volume one begins. You know what I'm saying? And they film volume one, and then before you know it, they film volume two, and they film volume three. And the whole world's going crazy. You're going to see some pictures trending online, obviously. The crewmen are going to take some pictures, or behind the scenes, they're going to post it on 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 on
and the Instagram and the whole world's tuning into that. That's why you guys really piss me off, man. You guys are obsessively tuning into the behind the scenes of what's going on with the Zanius Movie Project. You can't leave me alone. Hence, I'm worth the free money. Yeah, I'm worth the free money, man. You only made me pay as free because you want to see me after I'm not fucking stupid, man. Is that right? You're going to see Peter stressed out. Remember, all you guys, all you Lord of the Rings fans who watched the Lord of the Rings behind the scenes, remember how you saw Peter Jackson? He what? He, he was stressed out. He's reading his newspaper. Yeah, we just finished filming. We just finished filming Fellowship of the Ring, and now we're fi now we're filming Two Towers. You can see he's, he's all like, stressed out. Yeah, you're gonna see Peter stressed out for Zanus too, because don't forget he's older now. He's thirty years older than what he was back then. Back then Peter was like 38, 39 years old. He was a young dude back then, and he was still stressed out. Now you're gonna see how stressed out he's. He's a bit stressed out. He's on his phone. He's on his iPhone, right? Because back then there was no iPhones and all stuff back then. But now you have iPhones. Peter's on his iPhone. Oh my God, look how much technology has, got, has gotten better since then. Peter's on his iPhone. He's, he's looking at his iPhone. He's like, yeah. He's looking at his iPhone. Because while I'm filming production, your stuff will be trending too. People, crewmen are going to take pictures of what's going on behind. You see me talking with the actors. You see me behind the scenes filming. Yeah. All that's trending. Yeah, man. But I'm going to tell the crewmen, look guys. I don't mind you guys taking a few pictures here and there of what's going on behind the scenes. But don't don't take a bunch of stuff and spoil a bunch of stuff, man. Take 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 what? Take take a modest amount of pictures. Don't take too many pictures, man. Please, guys, listen to me. I'm the boss. I don't want you taking a bunch of fucking pictures. You can take some pictures here and there, but don't take too too much. You don't want to spoil it for the fans. Okay, I was just saying, yeah, guys, listen to me. I'm the boss. Don't take too too much pictures. I'm saying. You're gonna see those pictures. Uh, 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 what? Some of that stuff trending on, on Twitter, man. Something crazy, yeah. It's trending on Twitter. Something crazy, yeah, man. You're going to see pictures trending on, trending on Twitter. You're going to see Peter stressed out. Yeah, we just finished filming Volume 1. You know what I'm saying? Now we're starting Volume 2. You know what I'm saying? He's stressed out. Yeah, I'm going to be a Peter. Look, man. I don't want you filming three of the volumes simultaneously like you do for Lord of the Rings. No, we, 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 we it's, it's, it's in chronic, it's in um, chron, chron, um, chron, chron, chronicle order, chronological order. Since there, so we film volume one first, and then we film volume two, and then we film volume three. You need these actors, Peter. I want these actors to prepare mentally for Eratat and all of them in volume three. And volume two, right? I want John Baega and 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 Dijon Su to prepare to prepare to meet Eratat in volume two. They meet him in volume two, obviously. And I want the rest of the actors to prepare and myself to prepare to meet Eratat and feast on them in volume three. Because volume three is when you meet like all the demonic characters. When the humans humans confront the, the humans, right? If you, if you film volume three while you're filming volume one, you can lose. The actors, the, the, uh, you, you might not get as good acting from the actors. Because while they're filming Volume 1 in the beginning, when they don't even see Eratan all of them, they, you have another scene where they see Eratan all of them. No, don't do that. Film it in chronological order. Volume 1, Volume 2, then Volume 3. That way the actors can prepare themselves mentally to face the demonic beings. With a big war in the end, the big battle sequence in the, in the, in the, in the Gilead City against the Baths, you need to prepare mentally for that. Especially the big war in the end, they have to prepare mentally for that, some Sarah. John Egg and Hijo Monsu have to prepare have to prepare for, 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 for when they meet Eratat in, in the beginning of volume two. That's why don't film these volumes simultaneously, Peter. Film it. We film volume one first, then we film volume two. Some Sarah. The, the eleven months are over, obviously. Everyone's like, oh, it's done, Ivan. Yeah, guys, it's done. I'm saying, oh, Ivan, oh, all it's all sad. Yeah, guys, it's done. I'm saying. And then a couple months later, post production takes place, and the first trailer of, of Zanus drops. And you see Eratat for the whole world sees Eratat for the first time. They're all going crazy. Holy shit, Eratat's a devil. And then when the movie has crazy old life buzz. John Campa and Rob Ebernard are going crazy. Did you see that trailer? Holy shit, you know what I'm saying? And the world's going crazy for that Zanus movie. Yeah. Zanus will have crazy old life buzz. Yeah, man. You guys are see you guys don't talk about it. You see the future, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. That's why Zanus is the best result of the most bitch. I don't think anything will top that story. Trust me, once you read my book, you will finally see what I mean. Zanus is the best fan you've ever written. I don't think anything will top that. 
Hey, Ozuna's field. It's Ivan Mayer. I'm signing out. Peace.